how we're doing this. <laughs> All right, I'm here, like I said, reacting to episode one, season one of Transformers Animated. Starting here with episode one, Transform and Rollout, part one. All right, I'm excited. I've always wanted to do my own reaction series. <laughs> so here we go, episode one. This intro is so iconic, I can't even. When I first saw this, it was like, G1, what? <laughs> Ratchet. Some sort of spa treatment. <laughs> Something I always appreciated was having their differing like alt modes. <laughs> There's no bot faster. <laughs> Transformers can bark. <laughs> Subtle animation on the rocks, that was nice. <laughs> oh, the guitar. Put my headset in, it's easier. All the time. You'd be grumpy too if you had one servo in the scrap heap. <laughs> I may have one servo in the scrap heap, but I can still hear! The thankless assignment. But remember, we're all yes. cogs in the great big Autobot machine. Good music too. Not without backup. Patch me into Cybertron Command Headquarters. Wow. When you want backup, you go straight to the top. Uh, Optimus Sentinel. Prime. <laughs> you mean they still let you command other Autobots? Don't start Sentinel. Display cargo hold visual. <laughs> I'll put you through right away. Yep. Ultra Magnus here, Optimus. We're tracking your Decepticon signal. Probably just a lost scout ship. Meantime, you and your bots just sit tight. And Prime, don't try to be not a hero. Programming. It's not in your programming. Tell Train 1, set a course for the nearest space bridge. But Ultra Magnus said to sit tight. With all due respect, Ultra Magnus isn't carrying the All Spark. So, we'll make a beeline for a space bridge. And black. The site I'm watching this on has ads and stuff in the middle, so I won't have you. Watch that, don't worry. But I can take this time to use a break and just talk. So I just love how unique animated it is. It's just so good. Like right from the get go, it's like Prime's a lot younger. He's more naive. He's a space bridge mechanic. Ultra Magnus is the leader of the Autobots instead of him. It's cool seeing Ratchet be like, kind of like the pseudo leader. Like Prime is the leader, but well, Ratchet's the experienced one. So it seems like this, like origins of G1 are there, but like G1's obviously a whole different continuity, which is most interesting. Yeah, these first three episodes were a part of like a movie set that like um, I watched as a kid, and that's where like my love for this series came from. Was that like three episode movie set? At least I think it's three. I haven't checked. I'm trying my best to stay away from like episode titles and thumbnails. Just so I can be like as fresh as I can possibly be. You know, as fresh as I can be of already watching it, so. That ship design for the Decepticons is also something that's used in Prime. It's a, uh, Transformers Prime. Cool Easter egg. All right, ads over. Back to the show. It's a command ship. I recognize the markings from the history fits. Megatron. Megatron. Megatron? As in the cruel and vicious Decepticon leader who eats Autobot protoforms for breakfast? <laughs> Megatron is a fool who's been chasing a ghost for centuries. Yes. I seriously doubt we'll find this all spark aboard such an 
insignificant vessel. Traitor! Megatron is wise! Megatron is bold! Unpleasant as that oh, yes. organic mode of yours. The name is Blitzwing, insect! Remember it! Cause it's the last thing you're gonna hear before I... Okay. Megatron? You never said he was so big! You never said he could fly! Hey, what's that thing doing? It's glowing. Blue glowy. You think of that, eh? <laughs> this is a dark day in Decepticon history. May the legacy of our fallen leader <laughs> Megatron live in our memory cores for all eternity. As I appoint myself new leader, I solemnly pledge to... Where's everybody gone? <laughs> you? Ah! And he was never seen again. Bumblebee, report! <laughs> Patient. He's massive. <laughs> Big as foot. <laughs> you know what? You're even uglier from this angle. Someone make that a gift. <laughs> Megatron will remember that. <laughs> okay. For <We're> incoming! <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. Oh. See my twenty right there. We're seeing him with a mustache. No one sees this. Of oh, 50 years. Detroit is once again the world's leading manufacturer, not of automobiles. But automatons, oh my God. robots, oh my. or as we here at Subdac Systems like to call them, our tireless mechanical partners. The best human character in all Transformers. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <sighs> Forgive me, children. This is my daughter, Sari. So. What's it like to grow up around all these cool robots? I don't know. What's it like to go to school with other kids? <laughs> I apologize once again for the interruption. Uh, but my daughter hey, must oh, return to her studies now. No, Good not the tutor, Exactly what the future's going to be like. We'll What's it like to go to school with other kids? It's just the computer, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> these happy accidents are often what lead to discovery. Death leads to discovery. So that was episode one of Transformers Animated. And okay, it's just as good as I remember it. <laughs> the journey that these characters go on, I'm not gonna say anything just in case this is your first time ever experiencing Transformers Animated, which treat yourself, treat yourself, or just wait till I upload more. <laughs> I think Fridays are gonna be my Transformers animated days. So, look forward to that. Season one, episode two will come out next week, next Friday. I think that's what we'll do. So, all right. Got a good introduction of the characters, Optimus Prime, Ratchet, Bulkhead, B, Prowl, of course the Decepticons, Megatron, Blitzwing, Starscream, Black Arachnia, Lugnut. Uh, really looking forward to doing this pre-watching this series. But yeah, I'm glad I get to experience it with you guys. Until next time, look forward to more Transformers animated reactions and any other videos I post. Thanks for watching. <laughs>